This morning, we are remembering two remarkable women. 108-year-old Julia Hawkins, who showed us life could be a sprint. Oh, I'm very, very young. Look at me. And Elizabeth Francis, who at 115 years old, showed us life could be a meaningful marathon, too. Happy birthday! You may have been wondering, and yes, Elizabeth was the country's oldest living person. She was born in 1909 and passed away Tuesday in her Houston home where she lived with her 95-year-old daughter, Dorothy. Our Houston station, KTRK, spoke with them both for Elizabeth's 114th birthday last year. She has been a wonderful mother and grandmother. Now, as far as the secret to her longevity goes, Elizabeth's 69-year-old granddaughter, Ethel, said her grandma always cooked for herself and, quote, took care of her body. And here's what Elizabeth said when asked if she ever smoked. Never have. Or if she ever drank. Oh, no, ma'am. And speaking of living a healthy lifestyle. The hurricane is in the house. <laughs> who could forget the athlete they called Julia Hurricane Hawkins, who did not start competing in track events until she was 100. I thought it'd be neat to run at 100. At 101, she set the world record for the 100-yard dash for women over 100, and then told reporters after the event, quote, I missed my nap for this. A retired school teacher, the Louisiana native, would also go on to set world records in the indoor shot put and 60-meter dash as well. And here's what she told ABC's David Muir in 2019 about how it felt to find this new passion later in life. It's awe-inspiring to me to be able to do this. Julia passed away Tuesday in Baton Rouge at 108. And guys, by the way, it was her kids who first encouraged her to run and signed her up for her first race in 2016.